For this STEM week, I've chosen Sink and Float Experiment to be my STEM project. I love science, that is why I've selected the topic. The purpose of my experiment is to understand how density plays a role in floating or sinking of an object in water. As this is an experiment, there has to be a hypothesis. If I drop a regular Pepsi in diet Pepsi cans into the large container of water, then both cans will sink because they are the same size and capacity. I need some materials like water jar, regular Pepsi to 50 ml, diet Pepsi to 50 ml. As this is an experiment, there has to be some variables. First, the independent variables is the density of the can drinks. The dependent variables is if the cans sink or float. And the control variables are a large container of water and same size can regular Pepsi and same size can diet Pepsi. I have to follow four steps. Fill a large container of water. Gently drop the can, regular Pepsi, into the container. Gently drop the can, Diet Pepsi, into the container. Step 4 is to observe what happens to the two cans. Now let's describe the data table. I used two types of cans. One is regular Pepsi, another one is Diet Pepsi. The mass of the regular Pepsi is 267 gram and the Diet Pepsi is 245 gram. The volume of both cans is 250 ml. Density of the cans is regular Pepsi is 1.07 gram per ml. And the diet Pepsi is 0 0.97 gram per ml. Density of the water is 1 gram per ml. Now as you can see, the regular Pepsi is more dense than the water does its sink. Now the diet Pepsi is less dense than the water does it floats. In conclusion, my hypothesis was wrong. Both cans did not sink. The regular Pepsi has 18 grams of sugar and the diet one has 0 grams of sugar. So only the regular Pepsi is denser than the water does it sink. The experiment I did today is basically a testing of Archimedes principle. This principle plays a vital role in making water vehicles. Let's take a real life example. Have you ever thought why a pebble sinks but a massive ship with containers float in ocean? Ships are made of steels but inside a ship there are lots of hollow space where lots of air can be found. The air inside a ship is way less dense than the water. So when the ship is put in the water, the upward thrust of the water will help the ship to float in the ocean. Thank you.